We just left the uh, 90 bridge in the episode last week. Now the tide's falling good. We had a nice little catch here the other day with some really nice fish. So we're gonna target some big ones with the Mega Matrix, that's our four inch. We're gonna attach it to our heavy wire, four aught hook. Let's see if we can get some big ones with these bigger baits today. Push it up on there. That's the look that we're going for. Throwing it right up against these bridge pilots. All right, so you can see a little bit bigger profile bait there. These fish are running on average about 16 inches, which is a good, that's a good fish. So when they, when they have a nice average size to them, I like to go to that mega, look for a bigger one, you know, in maybe the 20 plus range. And a lot of times, you know, we're early in the year. A lot of times it's all big ones out here. You know, the average is real good and it can really entice more strikes with the bigger profile lure. We got a nice, perfect fallen tide right now. I'm gonna start off on the eastern part of the bridge. Same technique as fishing the regular three inch matrix. Put it on a 3 8 or a half ounce. Make sure that jig head's a 4 aught. We use our heavy wire and just simply bounce it off the bottom, back to the boat, allowing the bait to get to go back to the bottom. That's why we're using that bigger bait. This is your average fish. That's a good chunk right there, guys. They're thumping it too. They are thumping it. Beautiful fish, beautiful bait. Got to give that four inch some love. Having a good start to the day right here. Catching them. Just pulled up. We already put a couple in the boat and they all beautiful size like this one right here. We about to have some fun. Big yellow mouth shakers there, baby. That's why you use the big dog. That's why you use the mega. If you're on the big fish, use the big bait. A lot of times they can get just a little bit bigger. Look at that beautiful 18 inch fish right there. It's an awesome, awesome fish. Awesome fish. Fishing beautiful Lake Pontchartrain. Whatever you're casting, trying to decide where to aim for the bridge. Most of the time we like to aim right in between the two pylons, get it as close as we can. But we will work that lure all the way back to the boat. A lot of times the fish on this bridge in particular can be way off the bridge. So you wanna be able to, you wanna work it way off the boat. Now, if you find that a lot of your bites are coming tight to the bridge, you can shorten your cast up. But if you're finding some of your bites are coming way off, you might want to back that boat off a good uh, good piece there. You know, and sometimes when you're catching them good like we are today, sometimes you're going to miss some. You're not, it's not that you're doing anything wrong. They just get off when you go to flip them in the boat or when they come up and shake that yellow mouth. That's just part of the game. That's what makes speckled trout so much fun and so elusive of a fish to catch. It's, they can really do some head shaking and uh, try and throw that hook. Ooh, missed him at the boat. Most 
subtle little tap. Subtle little tap. Shake that head, baby. As you can see the little technique there. Pop, 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 pause. Let it go to the bottom. Pop, 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 pause. Let that four inch go to the bottom. You can either use a half, you can get away with a half on this, on our heavy wire jig heads, or the three eighths is fine. We got a real mellow tie today. I'm doing the three eighths. If it had a little steam to it, I'd do the half to catch these silver wonders right here. Now, if you haven't been out to the bridge in a while, we talk about this every time we do a trestle video. One of the most important things to look for is the loons. The loons are diving and looking for the same thing that these speckled trout are looking for. You know, I, I almost always find that the best place is where you're seeing the most loons. So this is a good one. Look at that one. Baby. That's a good one. But back to the loons. Wherever you see the most loons, nine out of 10 times is where you're gonna see the most trout activity. All right, guys, we go ahead and close it. Had a nice little day. Started off this morning fishing the Wrigley's 90 Bridge. If you wanna see that episode, just check out the one right before today. Fishing a dead tide, and once the tide started falling, tied on the Mega Matrix, came back to the track, Started catching some of these big girls right here, having a ball. Get your hands on these Mega Matrix by simply uh, subscribing to our Matrix Bait Box. We'll be sending out a multitude of Mega Matrix colors. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get out here. Get in on the action across, whoa, across the Gulf Coast catching speckled trout using products of MatrixShed.com.